Hey guys, welcome to You Fix It Garage, where it's always my goal to help you save money by doing things yourself. Today we're out here in the shop and we're going to be talking about PMAGs, specifically how to put a color mark on a PMAG using a fiber laser. I've spent a ton of time and uh, really a pretty good expense in PMAGs developing seven distinct colors uh, that I can achieve with this laser. And today I'm going to go over one of them, which is light tan with you, which is probably the most common. I'm going to be using a 50 watt JPT laser with 175 millimeter lens. These settings will transfer over to your laser uh, as long as you uh, set the power proportionately for whatever your laser is. If this video is something that's helpful to you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you'd like to have a notification when I upload videos on the rest of these colors, hit that bell icon and it'll give you a notification. I'll be uploading these on a regular basis. If you want to just get straight to it and you want all seven colors today so that you can start marking magazines, you can head on over to the link in the description of my Etsy store. And I have a, a digital download of my library from Lightburn for uh, PMAGs that will give you all seven colors and you can start marking your magazines today. So let's get to it. Before we go over to the laser, I just wanted to show you all the different colors you're able to achieve uh, if you have the right settings. Told you I did a lot of experimentation and I went through a lot of magazines to develop this, but I finally developed seven really distinct different colors that I'm able to achieve on these magazines using uh, various power um, uh, speed settings and uh, frequency settings to get to the different colors. So we've got uh, light gray, dark gray, light tan, medium tan, dark tan, a medium brown, and a dark brown. And this is just the inside of a PMAG. I did a bunch of experimentation on the outside and I needed more space for prototyping and so I just cut it open. Plus it gave me a flat surface to uh, display those colors. So that's what this is. So uh, today we're gonna be going over the light tan, which is probably the most common. But when you start combining these colors uh, on a magazine, you can do some really, really cool stuff uh, with it. And uh, that's the ultimate goal, right? So the last thing I want to mention is that this is a Pelican vault case. And the best I can tell, the plastic on a vault case uh, is the same, at least with regard to the coloring, uh, as a PMAG. So once you get your PMAG settings, you can mark your Pelican vault cases if you have them, um, put custom logos on them. I've got my name and address and phone number on this one. Of course, I got that covered up, right? Because I don't want the whole internet knowing that. But uh, that's what I use when I fly, and that way it's got it uh, permanently marked on the case. So, uh, yeah, there it is. So let's get over to the computer. Let me show you that uh, setting for light tan. Here we are in the light burn program, and uh, I'm going to first load my artwork. So I'm going to come down here to my artwork library, and I've got a Second Amendment folder there, and we're going to do this We the People flag. So the first thing I want to do is rotate this that way and then I'm going to resize it to 100 millimeters that just makes it uh, where it'll fit on my PMAG good and then if I come over to my library under firearms and PMAG there's my light tan setting I can assign that to this layer and now we're ready to etch it or ready to mark it before I do that I want to show you what these settings are so uh, open up this window I've got a speed of 5,000 millimeters a second a power of 15 percent and again this is on a 50 watt JPT laser with a 175 millimeter lens I've got a frequency of 50 line interval of 0 0.05 scan angle of 45 degrees I've got bi-directional fill turned on but hot no crosshatch and then finally we're going to do six passes uh, that will achieve that light tan color all right, so let's go over here to the laser, set this thing up, frame it out, and I'll show you, it'll only take a few seconds to mark it. There's my PMAG. I've already got this thing fairly well uh, adjusted or focused. And so I come over to my light burn program and I'm gonna frame it out. I'm just gonna do bounds to begin with. And I want it positioned about right there. I also want to check and make sure that I've got it reading in the direction that I want. So my flag's basically not upside down. That looks pretty good. OK, 
Okay, I just put a little bit of shims over there to make it level. And then I'm just gonna hit start. Like I said, it'll only take a few seconds to knock this thing out, even with six passes. So here we go. And this thing is going, this is real time. It's pretty big actually. Uh, I made it pretty big on this magazine and it's doing six passes, but you'll notice uh, all in all, only a few seconds and that one is done. So there's the final result. I think it looks pretty good. And there's absolutely no burning, no nothing. Um, yeah, pretty good. All right, there you go. It really is just that quick and easy once you have the settings down for your laser uh, to mark these PMAGs. Uh, I'm gonna put up a side-by-side -side comparison between this tan one that I just marked for you on video and the exact same design on uh, another PMAG that incorporates the dark brown and the light gray. I think when you start combining the colors, your designs look a whole lot better, a lot more professional. And so if you're doing these for clients or you just wanna do them for your own, uh, I recommend having all the colors. So hit that like and subscribe button, the bell notification. I'm gonna be uploading all of these other colors on a regular basis. It's 100% free to you. You can just copy them off the videos if you want. Or if you uh, wanna just get straight to it today and maybe help the channel out a little bit, help me offset a little bit of the cost for developing this, um, and uh, for making the video today. You can go over to the link in the description of my Etsy store. You can download the Lightburn library that will have all seven colors in it, imported into your Lightburn program, and you can start marking today. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting the channel.